right now I'm watching. You gotta do is get into it. The number you have off. dialed. Please note, the new number is. In this video, it's real simple. I'm gonna show you how I make, I prepare my ingredients of my green smooth. No. When I really want to get real good produce, I come to Mariano. They have a real good presentation. Fruits and vegetables look real fresh here, so I come here to get all my produce. Let's see. I got my, my ingredients for my smoothie. So I'm done. It's right here, all in the bag. Char, look at the color. I never had char before. Char, you see? Rainbow char. So I'm excited about this. Never used this in my smoothies before, so this is gonna be a first. I'm gonna show you how I prepare my fruit vegetable smoothie, okay? The smoothie will contain approximately 75% mostly vegetable, and you want the other 25% to be fruits and seeds. We're gonna use flax seed in this case, okay? All right. The reason I'm doing this, this, this smoothie, is I'm doing it for the next five days. The reason I'm doing this, I want better overall health, and I want to maintain or lose a little fat on the body. I'm getting back in the gym, so there's no better time than to start right now. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you the ingredients so you can do it too. First up, we have rainbow chard, green and yellow red, followed by kale, fresh kale. This is spinach. Next. Next, we got strawberries. I freeze my berries. They last longer. They get preserved in the freezer longer this way. Next, we got a regular chiquita banana. Very simple. Followed by flax seeds. This is almond milk. You can use water if you don't have almond milk. I decide to use almond milk this time. Okay, over the next five days, I want to kind of manage my fruit and vegetable supply. Mainly the fruit. The fruit spoils a lot faster than the vegetables do. And plus, I have plenty of vegetables, so you don't have to manage that as well. But for the blueberries and strawberries, you probably want to manage that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my, my whole supply of blueberries, which is not that much, and I'm going to weigh them. I'm gonna figure out the weight, then I'm gonna divide it by five because we're using, I'm doing this for five days. So I'm gonna have the amount of blueberries I need for every shake. Okay, guys, I use a scale. It's helped me proportion out my serving sizes and real helpful in the kitchen. So if you don't have a scale, get you one. But anyway, I hit the chair button. I'm trying to figure out the total amount of uh, blueberries I have in grams, okay? So I have 167 grams of blueberries. So I'm gonna divide this by five. 168 divided by five. 167 grams divided by five days is equal to 33.4 grams per day. So this is about right. This is gonna go in my shake. Sixty-five grams of strawberries for the shake. I'm gonna figure out the weight of this package of flaxseed, and then I'm gonna divide it by five, just like I did with the blueberries. Divided by 
divided by five equals 23 grams per day. So I'm gonna get measure out 23 grams, 23 grams. Majority of the the shape will be vegetables, and in this case, seventy five percent of the shape will be leafy green vegetables, spinach. You know, you don't have to measure this stuff out really, unless you want to. Oh, this is chard, and this is kale. Like majority of the shake should be these uh, three vegetables. So you're gonna get a lot of nutrition, a lot of healing out of this, out of this shake. That's the plan. That's why I practice this. I wanna heal, I wanna, I wanna restore, I wanna feel good, no more issues you want to do 240 milliliters of has to get through your body, your entire body. It has to go through your the, the digestive system. It has to get in the muscles. It has to get in the brain. Go through the whole body. And one shake is not enough. Also, it takes time. The body has to digest this stuff. Okay, you have spent years and years of eating toxic, horrific foods. That's why a smoothie challenge should be viewed as something you should do for the long run because it takes time. The body has to process this stuff, okay? You won't see too many significant changes in the beginning, but as you practice. In five days, you might notice a little weight loss. Um, and if you do it longer than that, you're gonna see results after that. So uh, it's unfair to think after drinking this one, or two times that you're gonna see any results. So think about doing this for the long run. This is for health in the future. This is this is a, a, a turning stone for you, okay? So you won't see immediate results, but over time you will see a gradual result that will turn to something big. Okay, this is not Dragon Ball Z. This is not, this is not Popeye. This is not cartoon. <clears throat> you won't see uh, results like that, but it is a start. My question to you is, do you make green smoothies? If so, what ingredients do you use? Let me know in the comment section. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Give me a share. If you know anyone with lupus or that anybody that's struggling with autoimmune disorders, please share this channel with them. I look to inspire people to get their lives back, to get healthy, and don't give up. I'm one of those people who have lupus, so I know how important it is to have my health. So I fight for my health. I try not to make excuses, and I want to take you wherever you want to go. If you're struggling with any lupus or anything, or if you want to just be healthy overall, 
this channel is for you. So don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And I'm going to see you next time. And as always, thanks for watching.